Hello, Instagram. Excited to be here. Waiting for my friend and colleague, Jackie Saborn, who's featured on the Successful Woman's Guide to Love. And we're just gonna chat with you really quick. So about intimate conversations and the power of having them, especially early on. Um, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss our conversation. Okay. I'm adding her now. Hello, hello. Hi, it worked. Hi, how are you? Hi, sparkly. Look at how sparkly you are. How pretty. I love that filter. Today. I'm on the sparkly filter. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> so good to see you. Are you turning on your sparkly filter too? Kai. I feel like, uh oh, we may have some. Oh no, she had to leave. She'll be right back. You know how it is. Technical stuff happening. Okay. Technical, technical. Okay. We're gonna do it again. Thank you guys for your patience. Okay, I'm back. I will not Yay. touch. I won't touch anything. Somehow I got booted out. But thank <laughs> you, Cindy. This is so fun to um, kind of kick off our week with your awesome summit and yes, doing yes. the vibe with you. I'm totally feeling the vibes. I know the vibes are happening, and the sparklies are too. I know. <laughs> I do, I couldn't figure it out in time, so I'll do it next time, though. Yeah, for sure. And you're featured today, so I know what better way to kick off the week to have Jackie featured. And we had such a powerful conversation about really, it was so good. I'm and, really excited about um, watching the all of the interviews. They're all going to be so fabulous, and I know they're so inspirational for women, especially with now that we're moving into fall and the holidays are coming. And the just, holidays are coming. It really stirs up a lot of you know emotion and sensitivity and all that. It does, and it's also a really good time to date and bring in love. I mean, the summer's over, so now I always feel like fall is such a grounding time anyway. It and is. yeah, it's so like less distraction, getting back to your goals, your burning desires to find love. And I love fall as well. I love the fall fashion and just I planning just, on cuddling up right. with your guy this year. I always think about you and fashion because, well, we'll talk about it another time, but because yeah. uh, <laughs> you always look so great and fashionable. Thank um, you. Anyway. Well, let's talk about intimacy. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So um, let's talk about, yeah, some of the highlights from our conversation and why it's so powerful to have intimate conversations right away. I think we can yeah. easily, you know, want to glaze over them or not realize that we're not actually being intimate within right. our conversations. Right. And I think that it's, it's really important to show up with a lot of courage when you're dating. And I know it's hard because we, it's so, it, it is so intimate. We have to share so much of ourselves so quickly, but the that's actually the key is to sharing as much as you can that's appropriate, of course, in the in the first conversation you have, because that's how you create a connection. Intimacy creates connection. So, for example, it's like talking about 
things that really matter to you. First, you have that little chit chat to kind of get comfortable, break the ice a little, say a couple silly things like, you know, how's your day going and things that you think, oh, that sounds so stupid. But then going into diving right into talking about things that are more meaningful to you. Like, for example, if I was going to go on a date, I'm going to see my mother. I haven't seen her in three years. So I would say, well, I have, I have some kind of fun news to share. I'm going to see my mother. I haven't seen her in three years. I'm really looking forward to that. You know, she's getting older and, you know, we're losing people here and there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really thrilled on my heart to see me. So I, what I'm sharing is that I'm just sharing something real that's happening for me. It's totally appropriate so that he can feel that, like that emotion. Plus, I'm family oriented. So what that tells about me is that I'm family oriented. I'm close to my mother. So I'm actually getting a lot of information about who I am and where I am in my life. By sharing something real that's appropriate. And then that would maybe open up for him to say, I haven't seen my parents in a while. Then we could start talking about his relationship with his mother, his father, his, his family. And right. so just because I had something, I could share that. So I think it's really important to remember to share parts of our lives because that's what creates a connection. That's what we're looking for something that's relevant that we can both have something in common. Once you find that commonality, the conversation just becomes effortless. Right, right. It's so true. And I think a lot of times we overcomplicate it. You know, when we talk about intimacy and intimate conversations, yeah. it can feel like, oh my gosh, what do I say? How do I say yeah. it? But just think about something that's going on in your life, something that you're excited about, something that um, you can open up about yeah. and yeah. just simply share, which will lead to conversations or even, right. you know, even you know, intimacy can be shared in stories too. Like stories oh, are really powerful. I'm sure that you have a favorite childhood story. What, you yeah. know, what is that? Do you have siblings or not? Like, you know, it's, it's so easy to do that from that vantage point. Right. Then it just opens up the door for so many other things. Right. Um, I'm glad you said that. So it, when it comes to stories, just to kind of give a little more insight. Yeah. I wouldn't, uh, I, I would share, like ask that question if I had a, a favorable, memorable childhood time. Like I didn't really have the best childhood growing up. So for me, I wouldn't choose to share something from my childhood to get him to share something. I might share something from a trip that I took that was really fun and showed kind of my personality. I went surfing in El Salvador. It was really scary. Went to a third world country. So I might share something like that because it's sporty, athletic. That's what I am. And then right. we can bounce off from there. So make sure you're not sharing from your past. It's painful experiences. It's so easy to bond over the baggage. It really is. It's just yeah, so easy because really you're like, point. Yeah. That is a yeah. really good point. Yeah. It's, it is keeping it positive, keeping right. it, you know, from something that, you know, feels like a good, easy memory to share right. about. Um, and, you know, something that really embodies who you are mm -hmm. as, as a, as a woman and, yeah. and what you're up to in the world. I think yeah. that that can be, you know, that's another thing as well. Yes. Very inspirational um, things. I think like, in enthusiasm is so yeah. contagious like we're excited right now and I'm yeah. excited to be here with you I always get excited about the lives so when you're sharing something that's exciting to you and it could be anything from a trip to see your mom from a special recipe you just did or a new puppy you got it doesn't matter that's yeah. it you're sharing about your life so just look look for topics that really excite you because that passion is going to come alive in your conversation you're going to get animated excited and it's and so then true. it's going to create the bridge the connection mm -hmm. because who doesn't want to jump on that bandwagon we yeah. want to be around people that are just have happy, energy happy yeah. and, and yeah. inspirational it's contagious right yeah. yeah but if you're if you're going oh don't you know, I don't know what I'm excited about. Like, find something. I'm sure you've got something in your life. Well, I just went to the gym, okay? I just <laughs> did a great workout. And it's not easy going to the gym every day. You know, I'm 58 years old. It's like, why bother? But I'm going for me. And so mm -hmm. I go in there and I just give it my own. I feel so good. You could just share something like that. You know, do you work out? What kind of workout do you do? It can be anything. It just needs to be personal, but again, appropriate. Like, you... You know, like, for example, somebody very close to my sister passed away recently. Mm -hmm. I don't need to share that. It's not really about me. It's about her, you know, and but right. but it's on my mind. I'm thinking about what happened to her and my own life and reflecting. That's kind of what inspired me to go see my mother. 
here. But I'm not sure I'm going to share that part because that part's a little sad and it could take right. us down a rabbit hole. And we don't want to go there, at least not on a first conversation. Right, right. And and I yeah. think, you know, those are things to keep in mind. Not bonding over X baggage, you know, like yeah. if, if you had, you know, horrible exes, hard things that happen, yeah. you don't want to do that because that can start, you know, a whole myriad of, of negativity. And it also puts you in a place of, just not, not, you know, starting off from more of a, like a trauma bond type place yeah. rather than right. a open, happy, connected bond. So absolutely. And it's so are, easy to fall into that trap because it's, it's, first of all, it's a familiar conversation. You're feeling those emotions and thinking those right? thoughts and talking about those things with your friends. So we forget as women that we're not talking to women, we're talking to a man and they, they process much differently. So we need to keep those conversations with our girlfriends processing, even if we're still talking about our ex, but when you're, men are looking to see how, how over him are you? And if you're talking about him more than, you know, we, we didn't have a good breakup or we had a good breakup, whatever it is. And I'm hoping that's going to even out down the road or whatever, whatever, that's it. That's all you need to say. It's a couple sentences. Just say it heartfelt. Yeah. Like, Things didn't end well, and I and I have some regrets around that, but I'm working on it. But you know, that was a couple of years ago, and I'm I'm great now. What about you? So you exactly. can still tell the truth yeah. that it didn't end well. You can be honest about it, but no details. Do you have to say because that? Don't yeah. get into the because. No, no know? oversharing. No <laughs> oversharing over past baggage, and yeah. and I, <laughs> and I do think that it's so important to just make sure that you're on that high vibrational, you know, conversation. If he starts, you know, we, you know, sneak peek into your interview. Um, you know, we, we shared about, you know, your first conversation with your now husband and yep. how it could have gone down another road. And yes, very much did, so to shift that around, you know, yeah. to turn that into, you know, it's kind of, kind, kind of, of like lemons into lemonade. Kind of a miracle. Right. Yeah. And we just celebrated our 10th anniversary on oh, Tuesday. Yeah. 10 yeah, years. Yeah, I, I know. I, I made a post on Facebook for all the pictures. We got married on the beach barefoot. Mm -hmm. And I put all these posts over the years of us on the beach. And it's just been a wonderful 10 years full of growth. And that's what relationships are. They're growth. Relationships are You get into growth, right? a relationship for the purpose of your evolution, for your highest evolution. And that's what yeah. your partner is. They're not surrogate parents. They're not a codependent relationship. That's not what is, uh, relationships are de designed for. And we're learning so much more about relationships and how to have a healthy one, right. especially and in your event. You're going to hear, yeah. ladies, so many great perspectives. And I think it's so important to keep growing when you're single, especially if you came out of a breakup. You have yeah. you have some growing and expanding and forgiving, probably, and staying grounded to do. The, this event yeah. that Cindy has and is I, really I a great opportunity. It's so true. It's so true, Jackie. And I feel like a lot of times we can you know, especially if we're on the growth journey and then, you know, maybe we get involved with somebody else and then they're not available either. And we can easily, you know, fall into this feeling bad and negative self-talk when it's, it's an opportunity to really go, okay, what worked well, what didn't work well. Um, right. Great. Where, you know, where am I, you know, contributing to this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What am I committed to creating <laughs> and um, where do I want to go? So it's, you know, like you said, to echo your words, Jackie, it's, you know, being in the place of, you know, open hearted curiosity and always desiring to learn and grow. And yeah. I believe partnerships much like you, I feel the same way. It's like, they're just our opportunities to grow and evolve and become better versions of ourselves together and individually. So anyway, absolutely. I could talk to you about this all day long. And, all day. <laughs> um, join us on the event. If you haven't already signed up, link is in my bio. We can definitely add a link into the comments here. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe best. I don't know. <laughs> Addie, can you add the link into the comment box? My assistant's watching. Maybe she can oh, add the gosh. link. And you That's can update it after. 
Yeah. yeah. If you can add that link, that'd be great, Addie. Yes, I'm really excited to watch the other interviews. For me personally, I love the perspective of other coaches because everybody has like their favorite thing to talk about. And I love talking about intimacy. I love talking about authenticity, boundaries, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily, you know, there's other, like you, you have your own like focus and yeah. I love getting that perspective. It just helps me grow and evolve and continue to be able to offer, you know, world-class level courses and coaching and all of that. So these events really are, are so, um, same, they're so powerful. And they really, they really are. It's yeah. Powered packed with 28 yeah. really amazing, you know, conversations. And, you know, I love how you shared to Jackie so vulnerably when we, you know, first started talking, you said, I thought I was deep. And I can relate to that too. You know, uh, years ago, you're like, oh, I thought I was deep and I was operating from a deep place, but really, you, you know, I was very you were, shallow. You were really shallow. And I was, I was, I, I didn't, didn't even understand. Too. Yeah. And, and there's not that I don't feel any, I don't feel embarrassed to share that. Yeah. I want to share that because I want other women to hear that too, because I didn't know what I didn't know. Once I right. kind of start to, to go through some difficult things in life, like a divorce, I right. had to dig deeper and I realized that I hadn't really developed a deeper inner world. I didn't have a lot of inner resources. So mm -hmm. everything was looking, I was externally sourcing all my support and that can right. only go on for so long. It's like therapy. You're never going to get out of it. You have to learn to be your own therapist in a way. And I think yeah. that's why these events are great. You learn the tools. If there's, the there's teach you. Yep. Yeah, there's so much in our workings of of how we can support ourselves to be um, to self soothe and um, and you know dive even. And I'm not talking it. about wine. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about outer resources. <laughs> right. We're talking about the inner, you know, self soothing from a different inner working place and there's That's right. strong, this this event is chock full of those resources so thank you again jackie for being just an anchor and an integral part i always love talking to you and and it's my pleasure having, cindy having thank you, you for including me yes of course so until next time okay we'll see you guys bye everybody us. we'll see you guys in the interviews lots of yes. love bye bye, -bye.